Hey everybody, it's Sal here again, and uh, you're actually looking at me through the reflection of my television set. Uh, this video here, in case you haven't noticed the title, it's connecting your computer, your PC computer, to uh, a television set. Now, I just got myself here a 42-inch plasma television. Uh, it's a Samsung, if you can see by the bottom. Now, the, the first thing that I'm going to tell everybody right now is to, uh, if you're interested in connecting your computer to your, uh, to your monitor, is to consult the user manual. Uh, that is the first thing you should do uh, when you uh, are interested or thinking and thinking about connecting your computer to your monitor. Um, the second thing is um, getting the equipment. If your TV is compatible with, with connecting... Um, your computer, for example, I've got a television uh, upstairs which is five years old. It has a VGA input, so I can connect uh, through VGA a VGA cable. I can connect my computer. Uh, this television here does not have a VGA input. It, it only has HDMI and um, composite uh, connectors on the back. But uh, through the use of a and I'm going to show you here a DVI because I have a DVI port on my computer and HDMI on my uh, television through the use of this cable here from DVI to HDMI I can connect my computer to the television uh, as well as it says it I can through the manual now the manual also says that because there are two HDMI ports one of them is specifically designated um, to be compatible with the DVI connection. So on this television here, uh, uh, HDMI port number two is DVI slash HDMI. So this is where I'm going to be connecting the, uh, the PC port number two from my computer. So right now I'm just connecting here. DVI in from the computer. the designated DVI, uh, HDMI DVI port on the television. We also need to turn the computer on now. <coughs> and we'll turn the television on. If you can see in the top corner there it says HDMI slash DVI and there's my Windows logo. So you got 42 inches of uh, Windows 7 coming. <laughs> now when you do, there it is. Now when you do do this for the first time, the uh, screen displayed may not fit the television properly. So you, uh, once you're on the desktop, you're going to right click on the desktop and go to your display settings. Now because this is a plasma television, the um, there is still the risk of burn-ins. Um, uh, I mean, um, the technology has advanced from when plasmas first came out. But I mean, the the the, the manual says, uh, care, you know, when you connect it to your PC, don't be on there for too long, and it's, it's because of the burn-in. So what I've done here, I've just uh, auto hide my uh, menu bar at the bottom there, as you can see. Um, now, if you want to right-click and you get to screen resolution, this is in Windows 7, by the way, it's at this point where, uh, now this is pretty neat, it actually displays Samsung as my display, uh, you got your resolution setting and then the, lands uh, the orientation, which is either landscape or portrait and all that stuff, so, um, looks like my Windows 7 can handle the display uh, as well as the uh, computer. So that's how uh, this this is how I connect my PC to my uh, television. Zoom out a little bit so you can see the TV. See that um, through the use of a uh, DVI to HDMI cable. Um, if this is something um, you know, if you have a, a new computer, uh, or actually maybe new PCs have uh, HDMI outputs. I'm really not sure. My PC is uh, rather uh, four four years old. Um, so yeah, but the TV is brand new. It's a 2010 model, and as you can see, it can handle uh, the PC, uh, the D the signal from the DVI from the PC. 
guys, uh, hopefully this uh, answers some questions. Uh, the reason why I posted this is because there has been some uh, some posts on my one of my videos where I connected a PlayStation to a computer monitor, and people are asking uh, if they can connect their PC to a TV. Uh, so the answer is yes, but not all the time. You do have to consult your instruction manual, okay? Um, that's the first thing you do. If you don't have the manual, then maybe you can contact the manufacturer um, because that's the best source, um, especially if it's a, a new TV, you don't want to ruin it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you ruin it within the 30 days, hey, at least here in Canada, when you go to Best Buy or Future Shop, um, you can return it within the 30 days and not tell them that you screwed it up. But, uh, but you do want to be careful when you do this stuff. Uh, you don't want to ruin the television. So that's it, guys. That's my video. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll, I got another video coming up on um, connecting your, um, uh, sorry, not connecting, on getting free HD channels to your television set, okay? Um, so I'll be working on that, and hopefully I get that out soon, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.